Hey! Are you angry at me? You don't call or text me at all, so... You already know that I had sex with your boyfriend, don't you? But it couldn't have been helped. Because your boyfriend showed interest when I asked him out, and he never said no. It might be because I'm more attractive than you. It can't be helped, right? I stayed quiet and listened to you, and you said whatever you wanted to say. You had sex with my boyfriend and said that it couldn't have been helped? Because it's a fact. Are you making fun of me? Do you really think you can say such a thing? Don't you reflect on your actions at all? No, I don't. And why don't you try to be more creative so that you don't lose your boyfriend to me? Because you're like that. You get your boyfriend stolen over and over again by me. You... You do such stupid things, so... Have no friends, do you? Everyone says that if they become your friend, they get their boyfriend stolen. You're a bitch. Huh. I don't feel anything from whatever losers say. A female friend is nothing more than a draw for me. In the first place, if they have a problem with that, they should do something so they don't get their boyfriend stolen. But they blame me for not being able to do so. You're such a... For me, whether it belongs to someone or not, it doesn't matter. If I meet a man who's my type, I do whatever it takes to make him mine. What other woman can do this? I'm the only one, right? Now you know how attractive and good woman I am, don't you? Don't be silly. No, I'm serious. Besides, you and I have similar tastes in men, so I was attracted to your boyfriend this time too. I couldn't help myself. It seems that your bad habit haven't changed at all. The same thing happened when we were students. Oh, do you also remember? To tell you the truth, to steal your boyfriend, I wanted to go to the same university as you, but I couldn't have passed the test. Imagining going to the same university makes me sick. What? Do you really think so? Although I'm pretty like this. You're a real bitch, though. Don't be such a bad loser. Anyway, I ended up going to a different university, but I couldn't give up and entered a university located near your university. And at intercollegiate competitions, I got your boyfriend's contacts. This is what was happening. You never change. This time you did the same thing. You spied on me and stole my boyfriend. What's your intention? To steal my boyfriend, you followed me to university. And where I work this time. The obsession doesn't scare me, but makes me disgusted. What? Don't pretend to be tough. You also never change. You should have been disappointed by getting your boyfriend stolen, but pretended to be unaffected. This makes me irritated and makes me want to do more. You pretend to be a strong woman and it gets on my nerves. But because of such charmless behavior of you, your boyfriends leave you. Huh? Men like charming women, like me. That's why you got your boyfriend stolen this time too. You should show your charm like me or miss the chance to get married. It's because you researched where I work, started working at the same place, and keep stealing my boyfriend. When will you stop doing such a stupid thing? I don't know. Well, it can't be helped. Because stealing someone's boyfriend is the only way for you to get a boyfriend. That's your only enjoyment of life, isn't it? That's too pitiful. Poor you. You're pretending to be strong and saying unnecessary things again. You're disgusting. No one likes a charmless old lady. By the way, you called me. So I ask you even though I don't want to. Where are you right now? What are you doing by getting a day off? Didn't our boss tell you? I called him and said I take a day off because I'm not feeling good today. 
And our boss said he'll pretend I was at work and I can take the day off. This is what he said. Not like someone. Our boss is kind. Now you're making eyes at the boss this time. You can't be helped. You're overthinking. I didn't do anything. Our boss did everything. Stop playing dumb. I don't care about you flattering our boss, but I don't want you to take a day off because of fake sickness. You have a lot of tasks that are due today, don't you? How are you going to deal with them? Besides, pretending to be at work while taking a day off will be a big problem. Even if you say that to me, I don't know anything about it. Our boss did everything, right? Oh, by the way, I can make you do all the tasks I have. That's what our boss said. So, for the poor co-worker who takes a day off due to sickness, do your best on the overtime work. Oh my, I can't believe you. So, bye. Hey you, listen to me. I was proposed to by a president of a very famous company. It's such a big company that even ignorant people like you know. He is very rich and very good looking. Oh, congratulations. Of course, we'll have a very gorgeous wedding. He said I can wear as many wedding dresses as I want because I look good in any dress. We'll decorate the venue with lots of flowers and serve the most expensive meals. We'll also prepare a custom-made wedding cake. We'll make our wedding a great one, which ordinary people like you can't have. Thank you for telling me a lot about something I didn't ask and have no interest in. But weren't you going to marry the man who you stole from me? Stop kidding me. That could never happen. The disgusting guy who is stingy and superficial, so there's no way he's going to get ahead in life. I don't want to deal with such a man. I didn't need him anymore, so I dumped him. He was crying, so why don't you go comfort him? You might be able to get back together. Oh, really? Then did you leave the other men too? Oh, did you know that I had a lot of backups? Yes, I did. Hmm. I don't care. I also don't need them anymore. Anyways, I'll quit the company. I'm going to marry a rich man, so I don't need to work anymore. Now I'm on the victorious side. It's a waste of time to go to work, so I quit right away. What are you talking about? That's impossible. That's too selfish. We don't have enough people. You have to hire a replacement and then take over everything, don't you? You can't just quit. Actually, I can do so because our boss let me. He said, I'll take care of everything, so it's fine. And he accepted my request. He is your boss, isn't he? So you have to listen to him. And everything will be all right if you deal with the remaining tasks. You should be thankful to me. For you who keep being dumped by men, I gave a purpose in life which is to live for your career. You're really disgusting. <laughs> it's funny. It's pity that charmless woman who pretends to be strong is paid no attention by anyone. At most as a workaholic. So please do your best. It doesn't matter to me. To your marriage, I don't have any interest. Before that, let's talk about our job for now. What? Why? As I said, I let you deal with all my tasks. I told you already, right? Anyways, I'm going to visit my fiancé's parents' house soon. I'll show you the pictures. Why? You don't need to. It seems his parents live in a very big house. That's great, isn't it? It'll be mine in the future. As I said, I have no interest in your marriage. We have to talk about our job first. You have to finish the tasks that you already started working on. Well, it's time for me to go to the hair salon, so bye! Wait! Thank you for your hard work. 
Look at this. This is my fiancé's house, and it's quite big, isn't it? I'm going to get married to such a rich man. What? Wait. Why are you at my parents' house? What? Don't say such a stupid thing. Being a bad loser and telling a lie is ugly. No, this is my house. And this is evidence, a picture that I took in front of my parents' house when I was a kid. See, the entrance is completely the same as the one in your picture, isn't it? Why? <laughs> Such a well-prepared joke. I'm not going to be tricked. It's not a joke. My family is an owner of the company which has many apparel brands across the country. Your fiancé had said the same thing, hadn't he? My fiancé is the son of a noble family, and he's the next president. Yes, so that's my brother. No way! You're lying. It's not a lie. I just showed you the picture, right? Oh my god. I didn't know you were born in such a noble family. Wait, does it mean I'll be your sister-in-law? I don't want you to be. So I'll do whatever it takes to prevent it. Don't you dare do anything you don't have to. You're such a disgusting woman. I've taken so long to find happiness. Don't ruin it. That's my line. Don't say you forgot about the things you've done to me. Since I was a student, I got my boyfriend stolen. From who? You forgot what you've done and you're making a fuss. I'm quite mad at you. Do you know? People call this retribution. You're such a bitch. Don't bother me. I'll marry into a wealthy family and all the assets of this house will be mine. If you say anything weird to your brother, you'll pay the price. I'll kick you out. That's scary. You finally showed your true personality. Anything weird meaning what you've done for a long time? You spied on my boyfriends for a long time, stole him from me, and flattering with our boss. Which is a disgusting woman? Me or you? Shut up! And it seems you're misunderstanding. So I'll tell you. What? The next president is me, not my brother. What? What did you just say? Oh, don't you understand? I said the next president is me. My brother will be the vice president. No way! It's true. I'm smarter than him. So to get some experience, my father asked me to work at a subsidiary company by hiding who I really am. Of course, at the university, I studied management. But I can't get on-site experience without working there, right? That's why I'm working here like this. And I got a lot of experience. In three years, I'll be called back as the next president. Not my brother, but me. No way. That's a lie. Anyway, I'll contact my brother right now. What? By doing so, I can prove that I'm his sister. I have to ask him not to marry you. No, stop! I'm not going to stop. The marriage of the vice president and you is just a huge burden for our company. Because you are a woman who has an affair with your boss. What? I won't be tricked this time. While you were taking a day off, everyone was talking about you and our boss having an affair. No way! I don't know anything! Don't play dumb. Everyone knows everything. The boss's wife is mad and preparing to charge you much alimony. You should be prepared. I don't have such money! It doesn't matter. I'll tell you in advance. Don't rely on our family money. A bitch like you will never be allowed to marry my brother. You can't marry into a wealthy family. No way! Hey, you! I'll do whatever it takes. Please forgive me! Of course, everything you've done to me will be reported to my brother and parents. So please put your mind at ease. You're such a mean person! Hey, you! Wait! No, I didn't mean to hurt you! It was an impulse of the moment. You've brought it on yourself. For what you've done, you should accept the responsibility. No! You're unkind! Oh, 
If I can't marry into a wealthy family, I won't quit the company. I'll do my best, so please assist me in getting back to the company. Are you kidding me? I already hired a serious person to replace you. And even if you get back, you'll be looked at coldly by everyone. Can you bear with it? Ugh, that's... But, but, I can't pay alimony without working! Please, help me! Missed call. Hey, you! Missed call. Missed call. My brother found out Ella's true personality, that she's a slut who stole my boyfriend and had an affair with her boss, and they canceled their marriage. Our boss is caught having an affair, and he was reassigned. Ellis, who was charged a large amount of alimony, negotiated by herself to get back to the company. But the company rejected, because they can't hire someone who can't do their job, but just keeps causing problems. Of course, after giving up, she started job hunting, but it didn't go smoothly, and she paid alimony by borrowing money. She is now paying back the debt by working part-time. On her social media, opposite from the happy-go-lucky, ball-busting content she'd been posting, she posts complaints every day, such as she can't live with it, she can't live her life, and she is waiting for someone to help her out of such a poor situation.